Recently, DC dropped a teaser for some of its upcoming films, The Batman, Aquaman 2, Flash, and Black Adam. So this would be like phase three of the DCEU? Who the hell knows anymore? Much like the Boba Fett TV series, the DCEU has been a complete and utter shit show. You have Snyderverse movies, you have standalones like the Joker, and then you have the amalgamation of both. Films shot by Snyder but then repurposed by Hack Whedon or whatever people are calling him now. I don't know what's happening as far as this new generation of films is concerned. We have The Batman, which looks phenomenal. But then there's Aquaman 2 and The Flash, which clearly are characters from the Snyderverse and they're back, they're, they're, they're doing it. Where does Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam fit into this? It's anybody's guess, really. Some people are speculating that The Flash is gonna reset all of this and that's what's gonna lead to the true DCEU new phase. I'm skeptical, as always. I prefer the movies just be good on their own and leave all the world building shit to like the end credits. And I do think DC and Warner Brothers get that. The last slate of films have been much better and the four they're teasing here certainly have potential. Aquaman 1, wow, that's a film. That, that's like six films actually, wildly ranging in different tones as it goes on. Sometimes it's a, a buddy, funny road trip. Other times it's a very serious epic. And then it also makes room for some classic James Wan horror and mixing in a little Jurassic Park Lost World for fun. Listen, any film that features a song by Pitbull is automatically gonna get bumped up a notch or two. I am, however, still looking for a lot more from an Aquaman 2. Some consistency would be nice. A shorter runtime would be preferred. That first one takes an eternity to get done. When it's all settled out though, I at least know I'm gonna be entertained by Aquaman. Uh, whether or not it's because it's a complete disaster again, or it's a competently made fun film. The Flash, however, that's got some work ahead of it. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not the biggest fan of the character in the DCEU. Ezra Miller doesn't work in the role for me, and honestly, Ezra Miller, I'm not sure works in any role for me just to put those cards on the table. That said, the screenwriters must know this. They're propping him up with some extras. We have Ben Affleck in there as Batfleck. We have Michael Keaton reprising his role as the 80s slash early 90s Batman. So that's, that's a treat. That's a treat for a lot of us old school fans. So this is another one of those cases where the central character isn't the most compelling, but all the little, the little fix scenes they're putting into this might make it worth the price of admission. Last and hopefully not least is Black Adam. It's got Dwayne The Rock Johnson in there. If anybody knows his track record, it's not great. For every good movie, he has like 30 bad ones. Uh, the guy is charismatic as shit though. He's kind of loved by all. He puts in the work. He didn't even need padding on his suit because he's that damn powerful. I did find it incredibly fascinating that Screen Rant and all these other outlets found the need to make a story about Dwayne Johnson changing his wardrobe to not include padding. And they really had to go into detail as to why that could possibly be. Gee, I don't know. Maybe because he's a goddamn Adonis. Did you ever think of that? Of course you did, but that's an easy click. That's a stupid brainless article to put out. Anyway, I'm, I digress. The stuff they showed seems competent. Kind of looked like Shazam to me, honestly. And uh, that, that's all right. Shazam was a fine movie. It was, it was entertaining enough, nothing, nothing great. I'm hoping more from this though. This is funny enough, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, for all the movies he's been in, he really doesn't have a franchise. He won't go back to Fast and the Furious because he and Vin Diesel have a beef. He has the Jumanji films. Are they making a third one? I I'm sorry, fourth one? Because we're pretending those are sequels to the Robin Williams film and they have almost nothing in common. I just don't know. The, the second, the follow-up to Welcome to the Jungle was incredibly generic and mediocre across the board, but I guess that would be a franchise for him. Not quite the feather in his cap that uh, Arnold has with the Terminator or that Sylvester Stallone has with Rocky. It's just weird. He doesn't have a big action property. So I think that's what Black Adam is going to deliver for him. I mean, it seems like a no-brainer, right? It's a superhero property. Those are immensely popular still. I guess we'll find out. As far as the teaser is concerned, it was one minute long. I don't have any footage of me mouth agape, blown away off my chair at what I was watching. It was competently done. I wasn't watching it like it was the Hindenburg disaster or I'm peering out into the Grand Canyon. It was a, it was a small little trailer. I'm sure though you can find those videos of, of people that amazed. All right, those are my thoughts on the new DC offerings. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you think. 
about these properties and, and where things are going. Is it still even the DCEU? <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, but I guess I'm kind of glad at the same time. Let's just get these individual movies working before we decide to do another Justice League. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I post movie content constantly. And make sure to hit that notification bell so these show up right in your feed. Hope to see you around. Since you're still here post-outro bumper, I should also ask you if you want to join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here on YouTube being a join member. Gives you little badges, you get some exclusive content, and you're just helping me grow the channel, which is, that's the ultimate. That's the ultimate end game. Sheila is going to be putting up some graphics. She was recently rehired after a disastrous showing in 2021. I gave her like a third or fourth chance. She's been with the company. Uh, she's been with the company for a long time. Her daughter, I believe, worked here for several years as well. But we're, we're, we're really starting over in 2022, and I hope you join us. Isn't that right, Sheila?